What it do, what it do, what it do. You already know who it is coming back at you live in the flesh. It's your boy Rebuke All Devils. And welcome back to another edition of Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7, home of the truth. And on today's show, we have Jacqueline Duran, student bitten by a dog 800 times, says she's ready for the world to see her face. And this story is courtesy of Metro uh, UK. A student, and there she go right there on the left-hand side, that's how she looked before the attack on the right, and then on the left-hand side is how she looked after the attack. A student who was left badly disfigured after a dog attack said she is ready for the world to see her face. Jacqueline Duran, 22, had her ears, nose, and face ripped off on the day before her birthday, leaving nothing but bone behind. The Texas resident lost 30% of the blood in her body and was in hospital for 60 days after being bitten an estimated 800 times. It's time to show who I am now, and I can't be scared of it, she told CBS News yesterday as she revealed the extent of her injuries. I want dog owners to know their animals and be able to communicate with their sitters how they are. Jacqueline said her first fear after being attacked two days before Christmas last year was that her boyfriend, Nathan, 24, would leave her when he saw her injuries, but he instantly vowed to stay with her. I think... The attack has grown us even closer, she added. And so does she go right there. There's another picture of her right there. Man, that is, that is, that's sad. All right, we'll come back to this video. I was skeptical if he was going to stay with me. I asked him straight up, do you still want to be with me? I've changed forever. And he said, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I know there's no reason not to believe him because he speaks the truth. Jacqueline revealed she met Nathan when they both worked at her local Petco in Copel, a suburb, Copel, a, a suburb of Dallas. She quit the job because she disliked working with crickets and rodents, but Nathan asked for her number on their last shift together. They have already been through a lot after Nathan was diagnosed with cancer and his treatment successfully concluded just before the dog attack. Nathan told CBS News, I'm so grateful that I get the same opportunity to show the same level of love and care that she showed me during that time. I'm glad that I get the chance to. That's what's up for keeping it 100, man. And there they go together. Jacqueline further revealed the owners of the dogs, Dr. Justin Bishop and his wife, Ashley, had not been in touch since the attack. She said, I wanted to hear from them. It just kind of breaks my heart that they didn't reach out. Jacqueline, who was a supply change management student at the University of Texas in Dallas, had been hired as a dog sitter for the couple. She met them beforehand in the meet and greet before agreeing to the job and said they appeared well behaved. Although she said she was told the pets would be in their crates when she came over, she received a message on the day saying the dogs were actually loose in the house. Jacqueline was mauled the moment she left she let herself in, uh, herself in and is now suing the couple who have not been uh, issued uh, with criminal charges for the one million dollars for the one million dollars. The owners who have three children did have a claim the dogs were never previously violent, despite having warning signs on the door. So, man, that with the dogs right there. You can see they still got the blood on them. Oh, my goodness, man. Look at the crime scene. Terrifying images show the house covered in blood following the attack. When I felt the skin hanging from my face, I thought I was going to die, she added. During, during the attack, she was unable to call for help, but 911 was alerted because the property's front door was left open when the dogs pounced, which triggered an alarm. Paramedics were unable to enter the home for 37 minutes because the dogs were so aggressive the animals, the animals were put to sleep after the incident. Jacqueline said she is booked in for reconstructive surgery on her nose next week and work on her eyes shortly after. She says she can have surgery as often as the required recovery period allows and is hopeful that, that the operations can restore her appearance without the need for a face transplant. 
The student is also seeing a therapist to help her cope with her mental health following the incident. She says she still wants to be a dog sitter, but the, the sight of German Shepherds and pit bull breed dogs trigger her. Man, I bet they do. Jacqueline's dad, John, said during the interview that what happened to his daughter was entirely preventable. We really learn in life that incidents can be prevented when there is some forethought, he said. This is a terrible tragedy, and I know the homeowners feel terrible, but this absolutely did not have to happen, and that's probably the feeling, and this could have been prevented. Man, did y'all see those pictures, man? Those dogs, and those are the the, uh, the owners right there. I know those are her parents. I stand corrected. And there she go again right there. Man, I hope and pray she make a full recovery, man. Oh, here go that video. Let's check it out. This next story begins with a horrific tragedy, and that is a word horrific, but it's not about that. Our lead national correspondent, David Begno, is here because, David, I heard you say it's really about strength, it's about love, and most importantly, it's about hope. Bingo, bingo. Good morning, Gail. First, a warning. Part of the story we're about to show you is hard to watch, may not be suitable for all children. But this is a story about what happened to 22-year-old Jacqueline Duran, a college student and an experienced dog sitter in North Texas. She was mauled by two dogs. We have never before seen video of her rescue, which saved her life, but not before the dogs changed her face forever. I want you to know we spent the last two months following this story, her recovery. She's got a long road ahead. But she said to us, I have a story to tell and I want people to hear it. And she hopes you'll listen. Jacqueline Duran's face was nearly erased two days before Christmas and one day before her 22nd birthday. It happened on a dog sitting trip gone horrifically wrong in the Dallas, Texas suburb of Coppell. I see her feet right there. First responder body camera video shows the two dogs who attacked her holding the police at bay, leaving Jacqueline agonizing for help. We can't make entry because of the dogs. The dogs, in the instant after she opened the door, were not like the lovely dogs Jacqueline said she had met once before. Sam, can you hear me? Are you the only one inside? Is the big dog right next to you? Lucy, a German Shepherd mix, and Bender, a boxer pit bull, penned her down and tore off her nose, ears, lips, and cheeks to the bone. So the dogs dragged you from the front door to the living room. Yes. What do you remember about where they were attacking you? Uh, I like my arm, my face the most, especially when I felt the skin hanging from my face. I was just, I, I thought I was gonna die. From the time police arrived, 37 minutes passed before first responders felt safe going in. A medic rescued Jacqueline and ran out with her. She was rushed to a trauma center in grave condition. She had lost 30% of the blood in her body. It was a blessing, really, that she was even found alive at all. When the dogs rushed her, the door was left open, and that triggered a security alarm at the home of Justin and Ashley Bishop. Have you had any problems with dogs? Zero. Zero. The bishops told police the dogs came into their home from rescue organizations. I have three kids, you know, one's three years old. I know, no history of violence, none. But the words crazy dogs on a sign about a sleeping baby hanging on their front door is one indicator of negligence. That is according to a lawsuit filed by Chip Brooker, Jacqueline's attorney. The warning on the front door to me, I think, uh, suggests that the bishops knew that both of these dogs had acted aggressively to people arriving at the front door. You're trying to build this case of negligence. What do you have to prove that? Uh, what we have to prove is an examination of, of the dogs that we did after this attack, uh, which we believe shows that the dogs were dangerous and had vicious propensities. The bishops turned down a request by CBS News for an interview, but in a statement they said they were heartbroken about what happened. The police videos show how cautious officers were even when trying to contain the dogs, particularly Bender. Once at the hospital, emergency surgery lasted for seven hours before Jacqueline's parents, John and Shirley Duran, heard from one of the doctors. She had to be resuscitated on the trauma table. Multiple times. Describe for me the moment you first saw her after the attack. 
I was just glad to see her alive. Her whole face was totally bandaged. They had her in an induced coma for over a week. Must have been somewhat deceiving because the bandages really covered up the worst of it. It did. It It really did. I just kept telling her that she was a miracle and that she was going to be restored. She will be. When we met Jacqueline seven weeks after she had been in the hospital, doctors had grafted skin from her buttocks and her forehead to start the process of rebuilding her face. I feel like I didn't ask her this, so I think that it's time to show who I am now, and I can't be scared of it. What are you hoping to get across with this interview? I want her dog owners to know their animals and be able to communicate with their sitters how they are. These are the same dogs who you had met a week earlier that you said were lovely. You know, lovely one week and killers the next. How how do you square the two? Honestly, I'm speechless. They don't change their attitude from the time that I eat them to the time that I go there for the first time. Jacqueline was released from the hospital after 60 days. Leaving there was a brave and spirited 22-year-old woman deserving of the applause that she got from the doctors and nurses. When she got home, first responders gave her a champion's welcome. I really appreciate it. Her dogs were even waiting, and so was her boyfriend. Jacqueline doesn't want to be seen as a victim, but rather an example. And that may be why she didn't hide the scars that showed the more than 800 bites on her body. So when I first interviewed you, you could open your mouth about five millimeters. Yes. Now you're up to 21 millimeters. Yes. We've had the benefit of watching you heal over the course of a month, and it is notably different, better. Are you seeing that yourself? Yeah, I am seeing that. And what does that do just for your own spirits? I think it it really lifts me up compared to where I was. Yeah. Because I just felt so helpless in the hospital and being at home i knew i was going to heal more here than i could at the hospital therapy is a full-time job now her mouth is stretched one millimeter at a time so that she can eat more countless surgeries are to come when you hear one to three more years of surgeries is that daunting for you it's not fun to think about but i also think about how amazing the doctors are and so I'm putting it in their hands to help me. Come on! (laughs) You should know that there's a lot of hope in Jacqueline and her family. In fact, in looking to the future, guess what? There is a place in her heart still to love dogs. She'd been dog-sitting for seven years and still dreams of working with animals. The last we spoke, you mentioned maybe something involving animal welfare. I was thinking dog training, because that's... Dog training? Yes. That's my dream, but I'm not sure her life is going to take me yet. She has her senses now. She can walk, she can talk, she can smell, she can hear, and she can see. She's going to be fine, I think. Hi. In addition to the love from her family, there is 24-year-old Nathan, who she has dated for three years. He just recovered from cancer. And when he was going through treatment, Jacqueline often drove him and stayed with him. Now. I'm so grateful that I get the opportunity to show the same level of love and care that she showed me during that time. I'm glad that I get the chance to. I'm glad that I get to be there for her. Jacqueline told us she'd like to hear from the bishops. She has not. She said, David, I would like an apology. She says, I haven't even been paid in full for the service that I went there for. I should tell you that the bishops told us in their statement that they would never put anyone in harm's way, and a Texas judge ordered that both of the dogs be euthanized. So there you have it, man. That's a strong young young woman, you know, and we pray that uh, she make a speedy recovery, but that is terrible what happened to her, you know. You're just going to do a job, you know what I mean, and No one would ever think that, you know, dogs would do that. So, man, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. 
and I'll catch you on the next episode. Shalom.